Good day everyone. For this video, I will show you how to solve for the measures of dispersion. But first, what is dispersion? Dispersion refers to the, to the variations of the items among themselves or around the average. The greater the variation amongst different items of a series, the more will be the dispersion. So, ibig sabihin lang yan, when we say dispersion, um, tinatakal lang dito yung variations ng isang data. When we say variations naman, kung gaano kalayo yung mga data natin sa isang average sa mean natin. Okay? Now, kapag mas matas yung dispersion, dito sa second bracket, kapag mas matas yung dispersion daw, mas malaki yung layo nila sa average. Yun lang yung ibig niya sabihin sa second bullet. Okay? There are three measures of dispersion, pero sa mga ibang authors, meron tayong lima. Sinasali nila ang variance, pati rin ang interquartile, interquartile, um, parang may interquartile pa sila. But for me, mean, range, and standard deviation lang. For mean, napag-aralan nyo na to sa measures of central tendency. Ganun pa rin naman yung formula niya. We have summation of x over n. Okay? Where x uh, where the summation of x is the totality of the data over n, which yung ibig sabihin ng n natin is the number of data. Now, for the range, madali lang to. We have to subtract highest to lowest. Okay? Pag minus nyo lang yung highest at saka lowest. And next, we have the standard deviation. Dito na masyadong tricky yung ating formula. So we have square root of the summation of the quantity of x minus the mean square over n. Okay? Don't worry itong mu natin. Parehas lang yan sa mean. Okay? Don't worry, ipapakita ko yung step-by-step -step process ng pagkuha ng standard deviation. Okay? For example, number 1. We have 20, 35, 25, 30, and 15. We will get the measures of dispersion. So, mean muna tayo. We have mean equals. So, we have 20 plus 35 plus 25 plus 30 plus 15. So, we have 125. All over, how many data do we have? We have 5, okay? So, 125 divided by 5 is the same as 25. So, that is our mean, okay? Range naman tayo. Um, range. So, highest natin dito, we have 35 minus lowest is 15. So, we have 35 minus 15 is the same as 35 minus 15 is 20. So, that is our range. Okay? Now, for the standard deviation. Okay? So, sabi nga natin, ang standard deviation natin ay may square root of summation of x minus the mu squared over n. Okay? So, unahin muna natin yung x. When we say x, ilista nyo lang yung ating data natin. So, we have 20, 35. Okay lang na hindi naka-arrange to. 25, 30, and 15. Okay? Now, ilagay nyo yung mean dun sa baba natin para hindi lang kayo malito. We have 25. Sana ko yung 25 dun sa taas. Yung una nating um, sinol. So, next step, we have x minus the mean. Unahin nyo muna itong x natin bago kayo pumunta sa mean. Okay? So, 20 minus 25, we have negative 5. 35 minus 25, we have 10. 25 minus 25, we have 0. 30 minus 25, we have 5. And last, 15 minus 25, we have negative 10. Next, x minus the mean is square. When we say x minus mean is square, itong part na ito, Yan. Itong part na ito, square lang natin. Okay? 
So, negative 5 times negative 5. Okay? Sa calculator ninyo, negative 5 times negative 5, we have 25. 10 times 10, 100. 0 times 0, 0. 5 times 5, 25. And negative 10 times negative 10 is? Okay. We have 100 also. Now, tapos na tayo sa x minus mean is square. Okay. Dito na tayo sa summation. When we say summation, ipag-plus lang natin yung x minus mean is square. So, we have 25 plus 100 plus 25 plus 100. We have 250. Okay? Malapit na tayo. So, SD now is equal to square root of 250 over, okay, N. N. Ano ibig sabihin ng N? Number of data. How many number? How many data do we have? We have 5. Okay? So we have, unahin nyo muna yung 250 divided by 5. So 250 divided by 5 is 50. Now, square root nyo yung 50, we have 7.07 as our standard deviation. Okay? So, yan yung mean, range, and standard deviation of example number 1. And for, for last example, we have 28, 18, 20, 24, 27, 30, and 15. Okay. So, we have mean. So, we have 28 plus 18 plus 20 plus 24 plus 24 plus 27, plus 30, plus 15. So we have 162. All over, how many data? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have divided by 7. So divided by 7, 23.142. 2. Now, since for, um, 2 yung susunod sa 4, as is yung 4 natin. Siyempre, kapag mas mataas siya sa 4, um, magiging yung 4 natin magiging 1. Magdadagdag lang tayo ng isa. Okay? For the range, low uh, highest minus lowest. Ano yung highest natin dyan? We have 30 minus lowest is? We have 15. So, 30 minus 15 is? 15. Okay? Now, for the standard deviation. X muna tayo. Ilista nyo muna yung ating data. 18, 20, 24, 27, 30, and 15. Ano ililista sa baba ng X natin? We have mean. Okay? Para hindi lang kayo malito. Mean is 23.14. Meron na tayong decimal Value na dyan. So, x minus the mean. 28 minus 23.14. 4.86. Next, 18 minus 23.14. Negative 5.14. Next, 20 minus 23.14. Negative 3.14 Next, 24 minus 23.14 0 0.86 Next, 27 minus the mean 3.86 Next, 30 naman You have 6.86 And last, 15 We have negative 8.86 40. Okay? Anong next step? Square lang natin yung x minus the mean. Okay? 4.86 square. Two decimal places tayo. Sorry, it's not 4. It's 23.62. Magiging 62 na siya. Um, 61 yan. Pero since yung katabi ng 1 is 9, so magiging 60. Two. Next, negative 5.14 square, 
2, ganun din lang. Negative 3.14 square, 9.86. Next, 0.86 square, 0.74. Next, 3.86, 3.86 square, okay, 14.90. 6.86 square, 47.06, and last, negative 8.14 square, 66.23. Okay, then summation of x minus mu square so 23.62 plus 26.42 plus 9.86 plus 0.74 <coughs> plus 14.90 plus 47.06 plus 66.26 we have 188.86 as our summation. Now for SD, square root of 188.86 divided by how many data? We have 7. Yung fraction muna yung una ninyo, 188.86 divided by 7. Tapos, square root nyo yung <coughs> answer. So, we have 5.19 as our SD. Okay? Now, let's compare yung SD ng first example and second example. So, dito sa first example, 7.07. .07. Sa second example, 5.19. Mas mataas yung SD ng first Example. So, ibig sabihin lang yan, magkakalayo yung data natin sa average. So, itong SD natin ay heterogeneous. Okay? Now, yung kabila naman, mas maliit, we have homogeneous. Okay? So, that's how you solve mean, range, and standard deviation of a and group of an ungrouped data. That's all, and thank you for listening.